Hi you guys, welcome back to another first impression video where I am going to uh, go through every single sewing pattern in a collection and just kind of like chat about it with you guys. We're going to talk about fit, we're going to talk about fabrication, we're going to talk about just kind of overall design. So if you like looking at sewing patterns and even more like looking at them with a friend, then I think you'll really like this one. Stick around. Um, I have a ton of these videos if you like them, so check the playlist um, if you want to see more. But today we're going to be looking at Nomi's new fall collection. It's hard for me to keep up with what season we're on. I think we're on fall though. Um, and a refresher, Nomi is designs, designed solely by makers in the community. So these are like not like industry people, you know, these are like moms and people with regular jobs. And, um, then they do this as their little side hustle, which I think is amazing. Um, so they are usually their own models. Okay. Um, we're going to keep all of that in mind as we take a look at the patterns. We're not going to be judging them so much for their modeling, right? They're not professional models. <laughs> um, but we will still kind of analyze the patterns and and see where it goes. Okay, so first up we have a Mrs. and Women's Sweatshirt and Cargo Pants by Kichi B. Style. Uh, this is a pullover hoodie with winged shoulders, has kangaroo front pocket, and long sleeves with elastic. Wrap fly cargo pants have a waistband with a D-ring attached, drawstring ankle casing, and front and back pockets. And then Marsha also made a sew along. Most of these I think are going to have a sew along. I think that's part of the deal with No Me is that if you produce a pattern, you have to produce the sew along. So um, lots of, you know, helpful information in these sew alongs for you. Okay. So option or size options are, we have three of them, 10 to, 10 to 18, 20 to 28, and 30 to 38. So that really runs the gamut of the entire um, simplicity size range. This is something for everyone. Okay, so let's take a look. We've got the sweatshirt with the little winged, you know, shoulder things, uh, a hood, then I think just normal cased elastic uh, wristbands or uh, wrist bands, yeah, and then the bottom looks like it's just a folded under hem. Man, this neon color is kind of sort of hard to see everything, but there's a little drawstring with, um, with, um, grommets in there. So that's a nice finishing detail. And then you also get the pants pattern. So this little like crossover pant thing, I've seen a lot, um, mostly in denim. It's, it's kind of a cool take, uh, on, you know, streetwear and, and just kind of taking something like cargo pants and doing something a little different, right? I mean, there's only so many ways you can rewrite a cargo pant. This one has lots of pockets. These kind of cracked me up because like, I, let's be real, you can't put anything in there, right? Like if you sit down, you're going to break something or at the very least, it'll just be uncomfortable. Um, these four are also interesting. Are they, are you supposed to put stuff in them or they're just supposed to be decorative. I don't know. But like, I'm gonna put my phone on my shin, <laughs> you know, just feels a little bit awkward. But if it's just for looks, I mean, she looks great. Okay, so here's the sweatshirt. Oh, yeah, you can see the details a lot better. So there's actually like some like a top stitching detail in this shoulder thing, kind of like a it looks a little alien esque, right? Looks a little spacey. Um, but then you get the kangaroo pocket elastic wrist and turn under hem. It doesn't look as funky as it sounds. Like if you would explain to me with words what this was, I would think that looked a little wild, but I don't, it's, it's cool. I, the thing with these street style, um, designers is I just don't think I'm cool enough. I really, I really, I wish I were but I really just don't think that I am. But man, I wish I were. It kind of reminds me of um, Michael Jackson's thriller jacket a little bit, right? Didn't it have those things on there? So cool, interesting take. It does add a little bit of like a femininity to it in a way. Yeah, 
If I saw somebody else on the street wearing this, I'd be like, man, you are one cool chick. Let's be friends. <laughs> all right. So we've got fleece, ponty, sweatshirt fleece, French terry. Yeah. All of your like kind of heavyweight wovens with like maybe a little bit of stretch in them. Um, chambray, chino, cotton blends, and linen blends for the pants. Thank you so much for separating view A and B view A and B's suggested fabrics. Um, that's super, super helpful to, I mean, yes, you can make cargo sweatpants for sure. And you can probably even make like a chambray version of this, but the, it, what's the intention of the designer? That's really helpful to us. Um, and then you've got all these notions, um, lots of elastic and cording and zippers and things like that. Okay, so we've got the all the size ranges, so they're not going to give us finished garment measurements on this one. Um, but if it were me, I would base it off of the bust, and I would base it off of the waist and or hip, depending on how, how much ease is in either one of these. If you don't have my Fast Fit worksheet yet, that's how, what I use every single time to pick my size for my um, the patterns that I'm going to make. I'll have it linked in the description box for you if you want to check it out. Next, we have Alyssa. Wait, hold on, hold on. That's not true. I got to go in order. And it always just jumps me around. I don't know why. Okay, yes, we do have Alyssa next. All right, Alyssa Threads. She's got a Mrs. Jacket with optional hood. Uh, zip front jacket features high collar and optional hood, drop shoulders, rounded slit hem, patch, and welt pockets. Sizing is 4 to 12 and then 14 to 22. Okay. I think this is going to be like their version of a quilt coat, right? Yeah, definitely is giving that vibe. Um, we are just coming off of the Style Maker Fabrics fall release. She had a ton of quilted fabrics that would be perfect for this collection. If you've missed that video, um, I will link that in the description box. Or actually, I'll put it up here for you guys so you can just click on it. Um, you won't lose your spot in this video. And it'll queue up that one to watch next. Okay, so yeah, zip front, optional hood or stand collar, patch pocket, turn under cuff, little curved hem that's also turned under, separating zipper. Yeah, I want to see without all the quilt lines, I want to see these vertical ones are tough to match up across the zipper. Um... Yep. Super cute outfits as always. She's got such cute style. Much more my style, her style. This feels like it might be, that's definitely a gauze of some kind. And this must be some quilted, pre-quilted fabric that she got and then lined it with gauze. So that's A, that's warm. <laughs> B, it's got to be cuddly. Um, But it looks like just a drop shoulder with a one-piece sleeve. This curved hem is really the standout here. That is really flattering and really beautiful. Um nice little detail there. So we've got welt pockets and patch pockets. We've got a yoke that I didn't notice before. Um, and everything else seems fine. I do like this style of hood versus the one that's just like one, one seam down the middle. Those tend to be so like the opening is so big. They just fly off your head anyways. Like the moment you come across any wind at all, this one with just a little, like <laughs> little opening for your face, um, seems to stay on my head better, at least. So we've got corduroy, cotton blends, denim, flannel, linen blends, micro suede, pre-quilted fabric, tweed, and wool blends. Wow. Okay. Yeah. They really branched out here. Um, so corduroy. Yeah. I think some of these are, well, probably, yeah. Depending on the weight of the corduroy, for sure, this would make like a jacket kind of thing. I don't know about a hooded corduroy jacket, though, but I don't see why not. Um, cotton blends, denim, flannel, linen blends, micro suede. Yeah, so they're really kind of pitching this as a jacket and or a quilted jacket. And then there should be plenty of ease to go around here. They're giving us finished measurements for the bust and the waist, maybe because it's not Fully hip length is why they're not including the hip. But in the bus, we've got, I mean, double digits of ease. So that's not really something to worry about. Um, base it off of your bust and 
you should get that, you know, kind of cool oversized look. Drop shoulder adds to all of that. Okay, now we have... What do we have? Where are we? See how it like jumps me all the way down? All right, we have... Now, I just recently saw on Instagram that we've been pronouncing this wrong the whole time. It's not Butte Jador. It's Butte Jador, I think. Am I right? Did I? I saw that, right? I didn't. I know I saw it, but is that correct? It's Butte Jador. I don't know. Um, She has a shirt and pants. Classic. I, I am instantly thinking of Meghan Markle. I've been watching a lot of suits lately, though, so... Maybe that's why. But oversized button front shirt has drop shoulder sleeves, breast pocket, and double layer cuffs with back buttons and pleats. Patched front fly jean, patched fly front jeans have optional purchase studs and frayed hems. Okay, that sounds cool. What is, oh, patched like this. And frayed hems. So you don't even hem it. I do wish we would have maybe done some kind of contrast here. Where's the studding happening? Those are some cool looking pants. I bet they look even cooler in the line drawing. And then you cannot go wrong with an oversized button down. You leave it open in the front. Casual, relaxed, easygoing. Cool outfit. Yeah, it's truly like if you grabbed your dad or your husband or boyfriend or brother's uh, button down and that's what you're wearing. But yeah, I want to see more of the pants. More. Oh, here's that double layered cuff. So it is real. Oh, wait, it's double layered. I thought it just meant like lined I guess but no it's got a little like detail there that's cool so they're not going to show us the studding that's disappointing cotton blends lint this is all again they separated out no they didn't a and b a also in b also in okay okay so yeah they separated it out I wish I could have seen the shirt untucked in the front. I know that's not like not the style she's going for, but I wish I just could see how long it is. I guess if it's that long in the back, you just assume it's roughly the same length in the front. Because it does look here. Oh boy. It does look here like, oh, maybe it's a little bit shorter in the front, but still. Okay. Um, and then also for the... Uh, top you can use batiste chambray cotton lawn gauze gingham poplin yeah all of your lightweight well not even lightweight all of your i guess more structured um wovens weight is really up to you um it just needs to be able to hold you know a collar and the cuffs and all of that stuff and then also for b the pants you can do in chino denim micro suede stretch wovens and twill and then there's a little bit of lining for B for like the pockets and stuff. I kind of like the patched jean vibe. Yeah, I don't know that I would make a pair of jeans. I've just, I, I've tried. I've done it. I've accomplished it. It's just not my favorite thing to sew. I don't know why. But I could definitely see myself getting some jeans from Goodwill and then adding this detail for sure. I would probably do like a contrast, like I get a dark denim and do light denim on top or like really lean into the patches and do like lightweight denim and then like <clears throat> some kind of like ditzy cotton floral print or something. Maybe even four different ones, you know, lean into like the boho grungy vibe of it. It doesn't have to be polished. You know, you can really take this a lot of different ways. So corduroy pants with those patches would be really cool too. So yeah, lots of, lots of inspiration coming to my mind with this pattern for sure. Okay. And then you need your traditional shirt and jeans, um, notions eight to 26 on the size range. And we do get finished garment measurements, bust and waist for the top. But again, it's very, very roomy. So just go off of your bust and then waist and hip for the jeans, 
you're probably going to have to, these are going to be like one affects the other. So start with your waist, see what happens with the hip and go from there. Okay. Now we have, maybe if I just selected paper, that would help. Okay. All right. Now we have the corny rainbow giving us a bodysuit and cargo sweatpants. Please tell me we get the headband. Half zip bodysuit with contrast sleeves has ribbed knit collar and cuffs. Bodysuit with contrast sleeves has ribbed knit collar and cuffs. Okay. High leg opening and snap closure. Cargo sweatpants have elastic at cuffs and flat pockets on the front and sides. Oh, contrast sleeve. Okay, okay. So it's a fitted bodysuit with a raglan sleeve to be determined if it's supposed to be gathered or if that's just, you know, pulling in a funky way into these like kind of bishopy sleeves, right? Those sleeves are fuller. Zip front. And it, it kind of reminds me of like a, um, a, they're called skins, right? Where it's like when you go surfing and you have that little zip up thing that's like a shirt. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Like athletic, kind of. And then you have the sweatpants that have the drawstring, elastic at the waist, and then all of these different patches and different contrasts going on. She put a patch on the back thigh as well. Maybe that's just like what the kids are doing. I don't know. Let's see. And with the combat boot and what, I mean, this headband or wrap, whatever it is, that is so cool. <clears throat> yes. So this here, oh, is it a sheer sleeve? I think this must be gathered. Again, we'll see. It's hard to tell what kind of fabrics is. I mean, obviously this is a knit. But what is this? Is that sheer or is it just reflecting? I think it's sheer. See right here, you can see through it. So can you do knit and wovens mixed together for the top? Probably not because of this. But you can do, you can play around with shears, like, you know, laces and eyelets and stuff that have a little bit of stretch in them. Or like a stretch mesh or something like that. And then here's more details on the style lines for the pants are so interesting. Yeah, you can see that here. Just all the mixing and matching going on. And then, yeah, it is a contrast sleeve. So, so for A, active wear knit, ITY, and two-way stretch. And then for the sleeve, you can also do two-way stretch mesh. Yeah. And then for the neck band and the wrist bands, rib knit. Okay. And then for B, you can do double knit, fleece, ponty, sweatshirt fleece, and terry knit. So they all have a little bit of stretch, but really not that much. Do we get, yeah. Finished garment measurements for the hip for B gives us three inches of ease. I really don't see if you wanted to do this out of a chambray or something like woven woven that's not like more for spring I guess um that isn't knitted I think you could maybe maybe size up or if you're like in between sizes size up um three inches of ease should be fine though it should be fine if you wanted to do something other than you know wintry fleecy type of fabrics and then this, of course, you can do it all in one fabric, you know, just doing the rib knit contrast and do the sleeve and the, and the body the same. Or you could even do the body in mesh, I'm sure, too, if you wanted to have like one of those see-through moments happening. Interesting. I like this one. I will say the thing about Nomi that separates it other than it being designed by makers in the community is that you get unique patterns. If you're someone who's tired of seeing the same old, same old, and you're like, oh yeah, we, they're just re-releasing this pattern or, oh yeah, that's the same design that came out however long ago, um, like unimpressed with the rest of the big four, 
like, look at some of these patterns, you know, like these are the, these are what's happening in fashion right now, I feel like. Um, and they are unique. So I love that about them. All right. Uh, Norris made a men's puffer coat in two lengths. Durable oversized puffer coat will be a cold weather essential in your closet for years to come. Lined coat has welt pockets, zipper closure, and flap with hook and loop tape and band collar. Wow, this just looks really like professionally done. It looks very ready to wear. Um, grown on or like a drop shoulder, your little sleeve. I wonder if we are quilting this ourselves. It doesn't seem so. It seems like I mean, it does seem like we are. It does seem like we are. And then you have this, I love the longer length, kind of marshmallowy, depending on which um, color you choose, but. Yeah, super cool. I love how it kind of like flares away a little bit at the back. And then you also get this really, oh wait, is that? No, that's just part of the puffing, okay. And then the collar kind of pitches back too. Maybe he's put it back on his shoulder a little bit. And that's why we're getting all of that detail happening. Either way, it's still cool. And then it looks like there might be even some shape to the sleeve here, which is interesting. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, let's see. <clears throat> Suggested fabric. Cotton blends, lightweight twill, ripstop nylon. And then lined with cotton blends, polyester blends, and ripstop nylon, and then interlined with cotton blends, muslin, and polyester flesh, and then batting. So you are making your own puffy fabric. That is so freaking cool because you can buy ripstop nylon, first of all, in every color in the rainbow. I think when I was shopping for it, I was going to somewhere called like Rocky Woods, Rocky Woods, Fabric, I don't even know if they're still open. It was probably at least five years ago when I shopped from them. But um, you can even get like uh, Liberty has like some swimwear type fabric that's kind of nylon-y. I mean, you could really make something super special since you're essentially making the fabric yourself. Um, so I think what you do is you take the outer fabric sew on your inner lining, stuff the batting, and then line it. That's really, now for whatever reason, I know jeans are like not the most fun thing for me to sew, but this sounds like a blast. It's like, I don't know, that sounds like really fun. Um, okay, so here are your notions. You need hook and loop tape, which is Velcro, zippers, and that's really it. I think that's the coolest. I Now, the question here is, <laughs> is it cold enough? I don't think so. Um, but maybe you could do like a little bit less batting or like a poly batting would be less warm than a other type of batting. <laughs> I don't even know the types. I'm sure they have cotton batting, right? I don't know which one's cooler. Maybe cotton because it's more breathable. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, we have the Handmade Millennial here with a Mrs. Coat. Look at all of these fun coats using all these quilted fabrics, you guys. Fully lined, asymmetrical, angular, color block coat in two links with accent sleeve, mandarin collar, welt pockets, and snap closure. Again, very ready to wear. This one particularly reminds me of Anthropology a lot. Um... Again, all of those quilted fabrics that Stylemaker just came out with, you could absolutely use those for this. But this seems to be like some kind of regular like wool or something. But you have all these angles. I love the tone on tone that she's really, really good at. She's so good at color theory. Okay, so here's the Mandarin collar, like a little stand collar with a, with a curve. She's got, those are either snaps or buttons, I can't tell. And then a placket down the front, you've got drop shoulders with contrast colored sleeves. And then this little detail here. This would also be really fun if you put piping in. Um, and then you've got your welt pockets. And then at the very least there's a facing. I don't know if she's gonna show us the inside. 
I mean, that just looks like you would pay $200, $300 for that in the store easily. So cool. Yeah, and she did use snaps here. These snaps seem a little bit smaller than the last ones, just taking up less horizontal space of the placket. Very cool. Very inspiring. This is something that I would definitely pull off and wear in the weather here. I wouldn't be too hot, I don't think. Yeah, what a cool chic outfit, right? I love it. And then the asymmetry continues in the back. And then again, you have the alternating contrast sleeves. Oh, the hat is adorable. Okay, here's the back. Recommending cotton blends, fleece, lightweight wool, and sweatshirt fleece, and twill. Uh, cotton blends, fleece, lightweight wool, sweatshirt fleece, and twill. Obviously, quilted fabrics fits into that somewhere. And then it's lined with cotton blends or polyester blends. And then there's a little bit of interfacing, probably just for the collar and the welt pockets, I think. And then, yeah, snaps for both versions. Um, yeah, and kind of oversized. So she does do the whole coat. If you want to do all one fabric is this. And then if you want to break it out into the different contrasts, that's the quantities you need for that. Okay, cool. And again, no finished garment measurements on this one. Again, base it off of your bust most likely, but double check your hip too if you're a pear shape or um, uh, hourglass. Cute. It's like the competition of the coats in this collection. Here is Aronica. Aronica B. Cole. Uh, she has made a Mrs. and Women's knit dress in two lengths. Body hugging knit dress with sash. Has plunging neckline. Cut out choker option. That's cute. And oversized sleeves to give a casual sexy look. View A has contrast on the left side of the dress. Okay. So we remember this, right? I loved that whenever it was popping off in the 2010s. No reason it can't come back now. Um, you've got a deep V, you've got the sash. She's wearing hers at, is her, what's her natural waist? I think, um, a little bit higher than maybe you might be used to, um, even here. Uh, but you could wear it at your natural waist. You could wear it higher up. You could leave it off, you know, lots of options. You've got a long sleeve with like a longer cuff. She must like really long sleeves to come past her, you know, wrist, but you could adjust that to make it you know, whatever length sleeve you want. And then you've got a knee length. This is the contrast. And I love how she did the belt where the belt is pink and orange too, you know. It would also be cool if she swapped it and wore the pink side over here and the sherbet side over here. Wouldn't that be fun? And then you've also got this midi length. Let's see the back. Yeah, straightforward fitted knit dress in, you know, with, with, it's like fitted knit, but the sleeve is a little bit looser. And I do like that little choker detail. I think that's fun. And then you have to just wear one little necklace that drops in right there. Um, stretch knits only, such as double knit, ITY, sweater knit, certainly rib knit would fit there. Um, and then we've got... Oh, this is interesting. So, oh, that's body measurements still. So finished garment measurements are on the pattern. So what you're looking for in finished garment measurements is for the bust, zero ease, waist, maybe, maybe one, hip, I mean, kind of like what you're comfortable in, but you know, not a lot, not a lot, maybe one, two at the most. Um, but if it has zero ease throughout, even that is fine. Um, with these stretchy, stretchy knits, especially like a rib knit, having negative ease actually makes it look better. Okay. We have now the stitch fits. Long sleeve, oh, Mrs. Sorry, Mrs. Pants and Knit Top. 
Long sleeve knit top has halter neckties, cut out detailing and wide neckline. High waisted fly front trousers have hook and bar closure, front pleat, side pockets, coin pocket flap with button, belt loops, back darts, and welt pockets. Oh, I see. I was like, how is it sleeved and have a halter? Cute. And this detail is not hard to execute. It may look complicated, but it's really, really simple. Then you've got the wide neckline. Long sleeve. I don't think there's actually any seam here. I think that's her, maybe her bra is doing that. The under, I don't know. We'll have to look closer, but I don't think there's a seam there. And then you've got these really cool trousers with really wide belt loops. The little flat pocket is, coin pocket is so cute. The pleats, wide leg, really chic silhouette that you never goes out of style. Or maybe there is something happening. Oh, there's a cutout. I missed that completely. So I think that these are separate. Interesting. She must live in the South <laughs> because this is not like anybody else's fall outfit. Um, okay. I wanted to see if the, if the halter tied and it does. So that's a little bit fussy, but I'll get over it. Um, and then, yeah, you have the, the little cutout thing happening there. I like that. Especially like something like this that's a little bit, a little bit risque compared with, uh, paired with these like really classic silhouette conservative trousers. Um, that's a fun balance to me. So for A, stretch knits only, such as ITY, jersey, rib knit, sweater knit. Yeah, again, negative ease on most of this, on most of this. Um, for B, cotton blends, gabardine, lightweight wool, linen blends, stretch wovens, all your suiting fabrics. Um, you could even do like lightweight denim and all of that. And then there's a little bit of lining and a little bit of interfacing. So finished garment measurements. Yeah, they have zero ease in the bust. Thank goodness. And then three inches of ease in the waist. So it's a little bit more roomy there. And then for the pants, the hip, um, there's six inches of ease in the hip. So that's like a classic wide leg trouser. Perfect. No complaints there from me. Cute, cute design. Okay, now we have Julian from Julian Creates. He made a men's coat. Lined car coat with saddle, shoulder, stand collar, welt pockets, and back vent can be made either buttoned down or with a zipper closure. I like how you have the option to zip it or snap it. <laughs> um, little stand collar. What did he call this? Saddle shoulder? I've never heard of that. What is What makes that different than a raglan? I don't know. And then you've got the welt pocket here. Interesting fabric. Is this knitted fabric? Yeah, I don't know what the saddle shoulder means. I thought it was going to have like an extra detail on it, but... It's also got like a princess seam, which is unique for men, I think. But there's no reason they don't, I mean, men need shaping too, right? This one feels like trench coat fabric, I guess. Or even like a, a, a water resistant, like rain coat would be really cool in this silhouette. Here's the back. Oh, this must be what makes it, and it's definitely not a rib knit. It's like a twill of some kind. But this is what makes it the saddle, I think, is that instead of going like this, it comes around. Yeah. And also, if you see the his seam allowances underneath, that's because he didn't use a pressing cloth. Um, real easy fix to avoid seeing that in the future it's just sometimes with these if this is like corduroy or something and it has nap in it that happens um and but no one else is going to notice that except for us but if you want to avoid that you use like either a pressing cloth or there's some other trick too where you 
Oh, I don't remember. I don't want to say. Taylor's hand? No. Uh, I don't remember. You'd have to look it up. I don't want to. I don't want to say, and then all you guys like run off and do that, and then still get the same result. Um, okay. Anyway, so then you have this really beautiful little situation in the back that adds a lot of shaping, and you have this guy here, not doing a lot of work to pull it in, but you could add more buttons and make that functional. And then it would add as something to kind of like pull it in a little bit. And then here's this one. So you can see on this fabric, you can't see any of the seam allowances. It's just a different type of fabric and that's the different fabrics. But you do have this really nice um, vent in the back as well or kick pleat, whatever. I don't know how you refer to it, but look at the line drawing. Super cool, right? His weren't coming off so much as a line. That might be because he's, yeah, I think because he, and I don't know, are most men like this? I know mine is, um, full, like wider in the chest and then their bodies kind of are inverted triangles. So maybe it wasn't reading like a line because he's just so much broader in the shoulder than he is in his hip. You know what I mean? Like in order to get this to fit. I also wonder if he graded down, but in order to get this to fit, you kind of lose that a little bit. But this looks really cool. Kind of um, almost giving military vibes in a way if you wanted to lean into that a little bit. But yeah, the saddle shoulder thing is really cool in the back. I love that. Okay, cotton blends, linen blends, tweed, twill, wool blends. And then lining and interfacing. Yeah, so there's, what is that? Seven inches of ease in the hip and five in the chest. So there's definitely an A-line effect. It's just not as dramatic, I guess, as this is making it seem once you get it on like a 3D body. Okay, another cool coat for the guys or girls. Um, this is Duana's. Oh, this is cool too. Mrs. Jacket Bra Top and Leggings by Duana M. Chandler. Windbreaker jacket with adjustable drawstring at waist has contrast on shoulder band welt pocket. Welt pockets are really, really coming in strong on this one, on this uh, collection. Under sleeve and sides. For the contrasts bra top has scoop neck and crisscross back straps pull on leggings have contrast pockets how cool is this okay bra top right leggings your traditional active wear if you make active wear you probably got a set like this this isn't really rewriting anything um but this that you put over top is super freaking cool i love the little drawstrings with the um, cord tabs <laughs> with the elastic cording. That's so cool. I love the where she put the contrast, like on the welts under here. This just creates like a really slimming like silhouette. You also got them on the underarm too. And then in here somewhere, there's also see some up there. Yeah, right here. That is so cool. I want to make that. If you're crisscross back on the bra top, I will say she got a really good, well, it's kind of hard to tell from here actually. Um, but it does appear that if this were not rolling down, that um, her leggings would be straight across the back. They should not be dipping. Um, even this barely, barely has a dip to it. So that's really good on the fit. Just means there's plenty of room for the bums. Okay, so for the jacket, cotton blends, ponty, ripstop nylon, and terry knit. I don't know about terry knit. That would make it really slouchy. But ripstop and ponty for sure. I don't see why you couldn't do a cotton blend. 
And then B and C are active wear knits. So lots of stretch, but also really great recovery. That's really important for those as well. Um, and then lots of notions, but I think most of it is in the jacket, if not all of it. Very cool. Love that. That's fun. I would, I would wear this. I would wear this whole outfit to go run errands. You definitely see me. This is like no question when I wear this to Target. A thousand percent I would. I wear the whole thing top to bottom. Um, I do have some really great rib knits. I'm not so, so for the athletic knits, um, for leggings and bra tops, it depends on how you're using them, right? If you are really going to go work out in them, then yes, they need to have some level of support and, you know, be able to move with your legs in all the air and moving around a bunch. But if you want to make like a loungy kind of version, you know, it's still, you know, negative ease and close fitting, um, you could do things like rib knit. Um, you just probably can't like jump around in them as much. They're not going to be able to, they're not going to be able to stay up, um, and stay in place and, or be supportive in the bra like athletic knits would be. But I do have some rib knit that's like rib knit slash athletic knit that I haven't known what to do with. Maybe this is it. And then a cute little jacket. And then that's just it for Aaron day. Yeah, that's, I'm like, you guys, this is the, this is Nomi's best collection, hands down, hands down. And I think their very first collection that I talked about was maybe this time last year. I said, you know, some of these designers like Duana that's been doing it since last year, they've just got to get their, they've got to get the ball rolling. They got to get their feet wet. They got to figure out what people like, what people want to see, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and then they're going to be off to the races. And I think that that is fully evident in a lot of these designers that have been around since the beginning of Nomi. Okay. Donny Q is back. Everyone had a strong reaction to Donny Q's pattern last season. So excited to see that he's here again. Um, oversized button front shirt with short sleeves has drop shoulders, front flap pockets with buttons and shirt tail hem shirt has mesh gussets mesh gusset details at back flap and underarm gussets straight leg pants feature zipper vents with mesh inserts on the out seams okay so okay 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 so it's like a think of like cool polished tailored carhartt <laughs> Right? This is let's go duck hunting, but do it in clothes that fit. Right? Super cool concept. Um, hard to see from these photos. Let's get to some closer up ones. Here we go. Okay, so here you can see the little mesh insert. Keep things airy while you're out there, you know, with the hunting and fishing and doing all your outdoorsy things. You've got patch pockets, button front. And like everything else about it, I think is pretty traditional. There were some other mesh something or another's with the top though. I don't remember what they said. Oh, maybe this thing in the back. You get this little back vent thing again, keeping things aerated, keeping the airflow moving. Um, <laughs> and the, the shirt tail is kind of curved. I also like how the menswear designers you know how they have that brand that's just for shirts that are meant to be untucked? That whole concept, the fact that they've made millions of dollars off of that is mind-blowing to me. I just genuinely cannot understand why you don't just hem your shirts to whatever, anyways. Um, so the fact that he, the fact that he made them with the untuckedness of it uh, in mind um, is really nice and thoughtful. We didn't get to see the pants very much, but it looks like they're pretty just straightforward, um, straight leg pants. It, the description did say, let me go back to that. Um, drop shoulders, front flap pockets with buttons and shirt tail hem. Shirt has mesh gusset details at back flap and underarm gussets. Okay. Straight leg pants feature zipper vents with mesh inserts on the out seams. Yeah, we didn't get to see that at all in these photos. Out seams, zipper vents with mesh. Yeah, we're not seeing any out seams. I don't even see a zipper pull, to be honest. Are they illustrated? Yeah, they're right here. One and two. So I'm assuming they zip on the seam. 
And then inside the pocket bag is mesh. That's what I'm guessing. Um, cotton blends. This is all for the top. Cotton blends, linen blends, poplin, ripstop nylon. Yeah. And then mesh for the contrast. And then for the pants, chino, cotton blends, lightweight twill, linen blends, and ripstop nylon. Again, super cool concept. Taking something that everybody kind of just disregards as stylish and giving it a little bit of fashion with a U-N. F-A-S-H-U-N. <laughs> Here's all your notions. Really, really good. Go Donnie. He definitely has a unique perspective that I'm glad that they added to the mix here. Okay, now we've got Lydia Naomi. This is also the most patterns that Nomi has released at once. Am I right? This is a Mrs. Front or Back Reversible Knit Dress. This dress can be worn two ways. The gathers allow it to fit the front or back of the body with the same neckline shape and raglan sleeves on one side and, <laughs> and yoke sleeves on the other side. Raglan sleeves on one side, yoke sleeves on the other. So similar to that, um, to Julian's pattern with the saddle shoulders. One side in contrast fabric. Okay, let's see. So because you've got the ruching, that gives room for the bust. This must be the, um, not the raglan shoot, what they call it yoke sleeves so just like julian's they come up and then there's a seam right to here in the middle and the neckline is a little bit like cowl like and then you've got the ruching here too very ruchy ruchy um i think that the concept it's really kind of hard to tell. Oh, this is the same dress. Okay, because here's the raglan sleeve. Oh, and this one has, is, are they both asymmetric ruching? Because that's like a finished neckline. Hold on. Yeah, I'll have to look at the line drawings to tell that. But yeah, this is the same dress that she's just flipping around on her body. The light pink side is raglan and this slide, this side is... um yoke oh i was gonna look at the okay so this one too also does not have the ruching going off to one side it just starts down the middle yeah i can get a good shot of the yoke sleeve there fit is really pretty through here Oh, well, that looks incredible. <laughs> Excuse me. That looks fantastic. Okay. So, yeah. Asymmetrical ruching, raglan sleeve, yoke sleeve, and center front ruching. And then I think everything else is pretty much the same. It's an interesting concept. I'm not sure I need... It's like not different enough front to back <clears throat> to for me to say it's reversible. Therefore, I'm getting two looks in one. It's still the same look, you know, slight changes, but it's still like another ruse dress. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to think like how I would wear it. I also wonder like you don't have to ruche the sleeves. So I wonder if that would help simplify it a little bit and make it a little less dressy. It's reading very, very like cocktail, <clears throat> which I don't go to that stuff. So, um, but, but yeah, if you made it in all the same color, I can't see why that would make, I mean, it would just be interesting to know that you could wear it both ways. You really have to do like she did and do two different colors. I mean, you could be, like, really bold about it. You know how people are doing, like, purple and orange or purple and green and, like, really interesting colors? You could be really bold about it and do that. 
you could do like a mullet dress and do like black so it's conservative for work and then you turn it around and it's like I don't know metallic or something <laughs> I don't know oh gosh um all right so they it is a stretch knit dress ity jacquard jersey rib knit and then a ton of elastic for all of that ruching and then we should be having oh we've got a one inch of positive ease in the bust that is interesting and then our waist has also one inch of ease I would think it would be more fitted. I guess it depends on your fabric, depending on how stretchy that is. And you could even, maybe for between sizes, size down. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I mean, hers isn't really reading like positive ease, so I don't know. Little sus on that. Oh, this is beautiful. This is the stitch fits again. Oh, wait. So we're the, all right. So this is last season. All right, great. So that is these patterns here and up are no me fall. What do we think? I think for sure there were some standouts for sure. Like some trends were happening um, that we can see the definitely the cargo, definitely the quilt coat. Um, but some really, really fun, interesting pieces here. Good job. No me designers. Let me know what you guys think of this collection. If you'll be picking up any of these patterns, let me know that in the comments section as well. Otherwise, that's going to do it for me today, y'all. I will see you all back here very soon. Bye.